Hi everyone, it's uh, Mike Eilbrock again from MGE Diagnostics and I thought I'd show you another cool little uh, feature of eScope. I was working on a uh, 2009 New Flyer bus with a charging system problem. The uh, battery light would intermittently come on the dash and on this system it has a 24 volt uh, Niehoff 803D alternator. So this was the one that I was checking right here, okay? And in order to check this alternator, I, of course, did a thorough visual inspection. I couldn't see anything wrong with the belts, the wires, the connections, or anything. And uh, when I got to it, it was a, a no charge uh, concern and uh, it had changed from charging. So this one was a little interesting. So what I did was, uh, to find the problem, I ended up uh, hooking up to the alternator at the battery positive terminal, the ground, and then I also hooked up to the D terminal on the regulator, which is an output signal from the alternator to tell multiplex of the bus that it's charging. And then I also hooked up to the ignition feed to make sure that I had ignition to the alternator. And uh, I also hooked up to the P terminal. And the P terminal is a output voltage uh, that is used for an RPM or attack signal, okay? And it depends on year and make. Some manufacturers will actually use that and hook it up to multiplex. It just, it depends on design. So anyway, I hooked up to those uh, connections, started up the bus, started looking uh, at what I had on the scope and for a little bit I wasn't seeing anything so I uh, kind of went caveman on this to be honest I uh, ended up taking a hammer and hitting the alternator and as you can see here as I hit the alternator with a hammer it started to charge <laughs> so I had this in deep record uh, screen time 20 seconds and what's uh, really nice about deep record function here it's pretty easy to use all you have to do is just uh, hit the measure deep record tab right here so let me go back go to measure deep record and then you just have to adjust uh, your screen time here so whatever you want 16 40 you know whatever and then it will adjust to that uh, screen, okay? So let me go back to the capture. And let me zoom in here and I'll show you what it looks like when it's charging. So let's go to the very peak here. Let's zoom all the way in. Zoom out just a bit. And let's zoom in right here at the very peak. And as you can see here, when it started to charge, I've got good uh, charging voltage. And it's like about 29 volts there, but if, it, if you average it out, it's about 28, 28.6. So it got out to about 29 because I, you know, I whacked it with a hammer and then it sends low battery voltage. And of course the alternator is going to try to to charge up the batteries as fast as it can so it increases uh, the duty cycle of your uh, field control all right so now if you look here at the other trace the uh, the red trace here let me turn it off the yellow the red trace here is the voltage out signal to multiplex and that's staying pretty steady there and then my ignition signal is in green and that's holding pretty well also. So the only problem that was wrong with this vehicle was the the alternator was faulty. The uh, rectifying diodes, the end frame in there was loose and when I whacked it with a hammer I made a connection and it started to charge in there. So it uh, it also had you know a loose connection in, in the field itself. So but I went caveman and it worked. <laughs> so, so let me zoom back out. 
and as you notice here before I hit it with a hammer my other voltages stayed steady all right so the D out stayed the same but then what's most important is my ignition stayed the same as well so when this was happening ignition never dropped below 24 volts so I just verified ignition voltage the output voltage and I also uh, verified that the P tap the frequency out of the alternator was working as well it's not hooked up to this bus but it's nice to use because you can use this to measure RPM so that's an RPM signal there let me zoom back in there get a little better there we go so the blue trace is the RPM signal later on I'm gonna go into more depth on using this uh, signal to help you diagnose problem with an alternator because if you think about it you can use this signal to help identify if you have a mechanical issue with the alternator so say if you got bearings going bad in it and you can't charge enough and if you know the engine's good and you know the belt's good well you can use this to measure RPM and see if you do have binding if you do have bearing problem okay so I'll do another video later on that I'll explain how to measure it and everything but I thought I would just do a quick video show you the deep record and show the capability of uh, eScope using that okay so anyway I uh, hope everyone has a good evening and uh, take care Thank you.